children who have asthma might have allergies as a trigger? Here to tell us more about that is Dr. Travis Kane, a board certified allergist with the Allergy, Asthma and Sinus Center. Nice to have you with us today. Thank you. So let's talk about allergies and asthma. How are they related? Well, a lot of people who have asthma have allergies and vice versa. And we know that in order to really control asthma, a lot of people have to get good control of their allergies first. Mm -hmm. Talk about the allergy symptoms in children. What should we look for? For a lot of people, people only think of cough, we shortness of breath with exercise, but we think nighttime. Nighttime cough is one of the most predictive symptoms of asthma in a child, and parents often don't, don't see that as a symptom. Wheezing at that time, um, after exercise is a, is a common one. So they get in after playing outside and they cough for 10 or 15 minutes, and then they finally calm down, but those are also very common signs of asthma. Okay, so if you have asthma, your child has asthma, how likely is it that they also have allergies? Very common. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the studies show that up to 60% of uh, allergy patients have asthma as well, and it's just undiagnosed or underdiagnosed. So how do you treat it in children? Uh, the same thing you would do in adults. You would use inhalers, you would use uh, for sometimes a Montelukast. Uh, rescue inhalers are very important. Every child should have a rescue inhaler for those emergency situations. All right, and how are you able to resolve those symptoms for them? I mean, can you make it so that they can live a normal life? Absolutely. The medicines that we have uh, are really good at controlling asthma symptoms and uh, you control allergies that really does a good job as well. All right, Dr. Kane, thanks so much for being with us today. If you'd like more information, contact the Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Center at the number you see on the screen.